What's up, y'all? It's Jasmine. And what's up, y'all? It's Davior. And you are now tuning into Stories of the Streets. And as always, Stories of the Streets is sponsored by Black Scent, the New Black Collective, Change Waco, and Rogue Media. Today we have special guests again. If you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves. Man, you want to go first? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm Jonathan Sice. Oh, uh, I'm Demetrius Allen. And both of these... Um, great musicians are part of a band called Suede, and uh, yeah, thank y'all for coming on tonight. Um, or not tonight, today. Thanks for coming on today, though. Um, I first saw Suede, um, like what, like last weekend, two weekend, two weekends ago, something like that. So, mm-hmm. um, at the second, at the Class A Ventures and Goods second year celebration, I was, it's like a mouthful saying all that, but yeah, it, yeah, it was it was a dope show, you know, where we were. We're really trying to focus on creatives and like business owners this season. So when we were finding guests, I was like, ah, it's a super last minute, but I'm going to see a sway and we can get some people from sway to come on. So yeah, I appreciate y'all you yeah. know, coming on to talk yeah, to us. For sure, man. For sure. Um, do either one of y'all want to like go first? Um, he, he can go first. He can go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jonathan, you're the guitarist, right? Yeah. All right. So um, just tell us a little bit about like you just, you know, getting into the guitar and stuff like that. Man, well... I mean, music runs in a family. I've been uh, I, I've been playing since I was little, but I didn't take it serious until high school, huh? Or yeah. high school, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot a lot of my families play here around Waco. Um, Got to give a special shout out to them, Johnny Joe Ramos and Joey Sice. I learned just about just about everything from playing, playing live, playing with you know how to set up gigs and everything. They they really walked me through it for the most part. That's cool. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then you did a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when did you get into drumming? Uh, well, first of all, I was, I was a church musician before I did anything else. Uh, my whole family is based in church, so I learned a lot from my father and my uncles, based in Austin, uh, Terrence Allen and uh, Mandrill Allen. So. But yeah, I, I started in church, and then I like same with Johnny. I I didn't really, I got more serious than him in middle school because I had more <laughs> of a chance. But I didn't really get serious until high school when I met uh, my director and stuff like that. But yeah, it's after that, it's just, just yeah, 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 yeah. Did y'all um, go to high school together? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Waco okay. High. Okay, okay. Rep it. <laughs> <laughs> this man here. Rep it. No, that's cool. How um, long have y'all been out of school? I graduate. I graduated in uh seventeen. Yeah, I graduated in eighteen. Okay. Yeah, still young. Okay. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, still a little I'm, young. I'm only I don't know why I thought y'all were a little older than me. I graduated <laughs> in the sixteen. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're not gonna talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. So when did the the band form? When did Sway come together? Uh, seventeen or eighteen? Yeah, the when we when we reset, it was like seventeen, eighteen. The when we first started, it was in seventeen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah when we was in uh was going up to uh, Salado and stuff. Doing oh yeah, shows. that's right. Yeah. All right. When <laughs> we first started, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was in Salado. It was playing up there at the. Uh, Barrel's Brewery, I believe. Barrel, yeah, Barrel's Barrel's Brewery. Brewery, yeah. yeah. We was playing up there for the longest, and then, you know, we took a little break, and then uh, COVID hit. And then after that, we are like, we should bring it back. Yeah. Cool. And then Rogue Some Media. Summer 2020. Yeah. Rogue Media gave us our first show, and after that. Okay, Mike. Like, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and just been popping off since then. Uh-huh. So what's the inspiration for y'all starting y'all's band? Um... Just young and yeah. the love of music. Love of yeah. music, like like he said, like I've been playing my whole life, so I was just like, I, I I'm not gonna stop. So yeah. I just kept on going and dragged this kid around. Yeah. And so, and everybody in the band, man, they they've all been playing their whole lives. Yeah. And so it's just kind of we was all cool sure. with each other, and you know everything kind of clicked off the rip. So yeah, that makes sense. That's how it goes. So how y'all feel? <laughs> <laughs> when we were um, just like, you know, talking and stuff before we started down and started recording, um, I had asked y'all, you know, where the name Suede come from. Uh, um, <laughs> are y'all able to tell that story? Like, can you tell the story? Yeah. 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 Uh, 
Well, basically, it was this kid's rap name before. Wait. It was one so freestyle. It was one freestyle. <laughs> it was one freestyle. I said Jay Swade, and he never he never let it down. Like so, it was uh, it was first the first band was only us four. It was me, uh, Johnny, uh, Steve, and then a, a, a bass player we knew, and um, we did a we did a gig in Temple. With another band that we knew, that the bass player that we have now, Ashton, he played in it, named Telluric. And they had like this a home show at a garage, and they're like, "What's y'all's band name?" We're like, and the and then she came out of nowhere, the bass player. She's like, "It's called Suede." And we're like, "Well, I guess we're called Suede now." <laughs> yeah. And we just kept it. First, it was spelled what S W A D E. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we did the remake, we just named it like like the letter right, yeah. S U. I kind of like the SWAD. Yeah. Know. Yeah. That's kind of cool. A little cool. different. Yeah, a little yeah. different. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's a fun little story, though. That's, that's funny. Um, I mean, how many members of the band is it? There like, is totally. Technically six. Technically six. Like, kind of faith. Mm hmm. Kind of yeah, faith. Okay, okay. All right. It's, it's technically like 10, <laughs> but there's like a main group that like, it's always that always yeah. plays. Yeah, you uh, can say that. Yeah. You can say that. You got some just revolving but, door members. Yeah. 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 But it's really only six. Uh, me, Johnny, Steve, Jesse, Faith, and Ashton. Okay. Yeah. That's still a vibe, though. It's kind of cool. Especially with the, the other, like, reserve members that kind of just come in and mm-hmm. out. Because you, you get a lot of people who start, you know, making music, and they do meet this together, and then they'll fall off for whatever reason. So yeah. it's, it's cool to see, you know, y'all still going steady. And even with COVID mm-hmm. hitting, yeah. and y'all having to stop. And it's like, nah, we're just back to it. Just because the love of the music got us going. Um, speaking of music, what is y'all's, like, genre if y'all if y'all were to define y'all's like music that y'all put out because y'all 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 don't just do covers and stuff like that y'all right. have actual music yeah yeah there are people at home you know <laughs> look yeah. up suede on instagram and stuff like that they do have you know actual original music and i'd say we're and i'd say we're suede it's a little bit <laughs> of everything man yeah, it's like, like r&b you funk. know there's some gospel stuff in there some funk a lot of rock yeah uh, you can say indie yeah, lo-fi. If you want to say like, just you know, like um, it's just a mix of everything. You know, the idea of suede. You know, suede. Yeah, moves in your either way, so it doesn't that. matter. Yeah, we we don't have a genre that we just stick to. We'll go Latin if you really want to. Yeah, <laughs> well, y- y'all should hear our jam sessions. We'll go from yeah. shoot, we'll straight jazz to Latin. Mm-hmm. We'll start playing like a heavy metal song out of nowhere. <laughs> like, we just sit there. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, reggae. Yeah. I mean, we go like uh like electric just yeah going just didn't matter we just play it all and, and that uh, i like that i love that because that that's gonna keep y'all fresh yeah you know yeah just yeah. not sticking to one genre that i love that when you said you were sweet like he's yeah. like that's, that's our genre <laughs> like we're sweet, sweet. Yeah, i like that that's, that's clean but if you want a genre pop that's what i'm saying that's what i was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> I was going to say, that seems like the easiest thing to define everything. Yeah. 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 Popular music. A lot of people get thrown under pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, it don't. Yeah. But I do <laughs> understand once you have all of that going on, it's like if you really want to, if you want to make it technical, then just say pop because it's just yeah. easy. Then you can play whatever you want to play. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. that's true. What, um, what message, if any, do y'all um, put into your music? If there's one thing that y'all always want to convey and want the audience to pick up on, what it, what would that be? Uh, hmm. man, I I say uh, enjoy life with the people close to you. Yeah, like you know, uh, Johnny has a saying: <laughs> "I don't have friends, I have family." He always says that he don't ha- he don't have friends, he has family, and that's what we try to you know make our group. It's just family. We don't really, you know, we going to doggy, we going to doggy, but yeah. it's a family way. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's out of love. Yeah, it's all yeah. love at the end of the day. Like you know, you can you can definitely feel that from when y'all um. From watching y'all perform, like I just the speaking from the sitting in the audience watching it, yeah, mm-hmm. you can definitely feel that. Like I knew instantly that y'all probably knew each other for some years and yeah. stuff like that, and everything just felt like real organic and like playful and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that's cool though. No, yeah, she gonna hit y'all with the deeper questions. Yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> I'm ready. I no, just kind of yeah. wanted to know because I know everybody like my family is big on music too. So yeah. I know one thing, like y'all say, you grow up in it and it's just kind of there. Mm-hmm. I was a choir kid. So that's why when y'all gotcha. were like, we just kind of click. That's how it is. Yeah. So I understand, but I do know like everybody, you know, they have that, that one message or that one thing that they stick to when they're doing music, whether it be like you said, church. Yeah. 
We were always there. Mm-hmm. So it's always like, okay, well, we like worship music. Like, that's the message we want to convey. It's like, you can be a worshiper. But whereas y'all are playing, you know, more broad yeah. um, genres and you're reaching more people, that's why I kind of ask because it's like, you know, you and y'all can have different messages for different crowds. Yeah. Maybe y'all like to turn up sometimes, you yeah. know. <laughs> and that's why I ask because I'm like, you know, if you have to be a chameleon in the spaces that y'all get booked in, like, how do y'all adjust to those different spaces? But like you said, enjoy life and have fun and yeah. make it about family. So mm-hmm. I love that. I always ask artists, I mean, you, you're an artist, but you have a purpose. So what is your purpose when you're doing it? Most definitely. Yeah. Do y'all have like a, do y'all have like a favorite um, show or moment, you know, since y'all been doing everything? Uh, well, my, my favorite moment was probably Pinewood. Okay. Pinewood? Even though like, you know, I, I didn't expect none of that was going to happen that day. I kind of yeah. just, I'm taking solo. I was like, okay. And then, <laughs> <laughs> it was wild Man, and, the show. and I was like oh I didn't realize what I was doing until after I was like I just I just I just played this crazy solo <laughs> my bad I just crazy, played this crazy solo and didn't realize it and it's gonna happen and people liked it I'm like oh I'm glad they liked it and y'all, y'all plus that cause everybody got a solo yeah. yeah yeah at the class A yeah <laughs> performance and you, you got one I don't know man mine uh Mine would actually probably be up whenever we played for the farmer's market. That was fun. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. That was a good show. That, that one, uh, everything was just flowing for me. It was, it, was, it was a good show. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Do y'all usually perform, like, y'all's music more than, like, covers and stuff, or do y'all do covers? Because people will actually, like, you know, just, they'll know it, you know, more mm-hmm. than, yeah. Uh, we We try to play as many covers as we can, but it's kind of... I don't know because Re- right now we only have about four yeah. or five, and I think two of them are still in the work mm-hmm. workshop. I know three of them are done; like they're solid. Yeah, we, and then uh, we we we're we're co- we can you could say we're a cover band now only because we're trying to get people to like us, and then <laughs> we're going to pull a flip on y'all and be like, yeah, yeah. we're just originals, nothing original yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and probably in the next couple of years and be like. Oh, can you play this? We don't play that no more. Yeah. We're originals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we start getting more of yeah. a catalog together, I guess we'll, you know, we'll start having, I guess, more originals as we go. But yeah. I think right now, live, we just play, what, three or four? Yeah, we play about three or four uh, originals, and then everything else is covers. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Because then, we, you know, we, we blend them in, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, do y'all have, like, any other instruments y'all play? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like uh, within the band or just like in general? Uh, both. Okay, okay. Like I am a this man cold on the keys. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that, but uh, I <laughs> like I play drums, but I am a piano player. Okay. So and I do produce some on the side sometimes, and then that's my thing. I'm starting to play bass, but I'm not claiming that on myself right now until I actually have some some ground. So, but yeah, that's just piano and piano and drums for me. So sure. and yeah, I just play uh. Guitar, bass. Uh, it's a drummer. I can play. I can play drums a little bit. A little know? bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I, I know a little bit of piano and stuff, but I don't really practice it. So yeah. it's really, really basic. Yeah. But that's about it, really. Uh, Steve, he plays keyboard, bass, mm-hmm. guitar. Yeah. And Jesse, he's a jack of all trades. But <laughs> yeah. And, and guitar and sing. So. Can he play the trombone too? I don't know. If okay, he does, okay. then he's keeping it away from us because he don't yeah. know. Okay, okay. No, I just have to ask like a letter friend um, after the show, and I was sitting there just talking about. It. I guess I'm talking about it for like two days. Like, <laughs> like everybody, like bro, has so much yeah. fun at that show. And um, yeah, no, I like we were talking about. It. He's like, yeah, I know Jesse. Like, yeah, I, I've been on him. I've known him before he started doing music. And I was like, oh, cool. Like you didn't yeah. just mention that you knew, like you know, the member of the, the Sway band. <laughs> and he was like, he actually plays that same thing that you played in high school. I played trombone in high school when oh, I was okay. in band. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know people who just play trombone so regularly. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you don't get a lot of opportunities where a trombone is relevant, you know? Yeah. Like, unless you have, like, a really, a song where you can have some trombone solos mm. or a really present low brass, you don't need a trombone. So it's like, you know, I was like, that was cool. You know? I don't know. Trombone's coming back. I'm telling you. There probably is. I know no. a friend that's, <laughs> that's mean. He's a mean trombone, trombone player. player. He makes you sound like he plays, he's playing something else. It's crazy. That's right. But, I, I, hey, if you want to play, we'll put you on a record. If you still I, 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 I believe you. I believe you. 
No. <laughs> like, <laughs> people talk about it. I haven't touched a trombone in years. My mom asked me every now and then. She's like, you miss playing trombone? I'm like, no. <laughs> I was like, wish I got out of band sooner. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh man, man um, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Music's cool though. I I really love music. Were you finna say something? Like, yeah, okay. I have. I had two questions. I don't want to forget. <laughs> um, what is y'all's demographic of y'all's being? Are y'all mostly minority, or? Yeah, we're uh, yeah, we're all minority except for bass, Steven, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Steven. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 20, uh, 25. Well, you know, old Steve. I mean, that's uh, Steve. O- OG Steve. Old OG Steve. That's Steve. hilarious. He's 24. <laughs> he, 20, he just turned 24. What? A couple of weeks ago. Told him, we told him uh, on his birthday, we was at church, and we told him we was going to start calling him Old Head. Old Head. OG. <laughs> old school. So that makes me feel something way, because I, I turned 24 in July. So oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm sitting there telling people, yeah, I'm still young. Like, it's, it's whatever. Like, you know. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, I just turned 30, so I'm just like, y'all are. <laughs> Oh, you're, fine. you're my sister's age. Look, so. y'all have no idea. You're still gonna feel young. I don't know what I'm doing. Young. I still don't know young. what I'm doing. Look, but I just I wanted to ask because I'm just I know most bands like most cover bands that I've seen they they've been like predominantly white. Mm-hmm. And I've never seen like a diverse band either. So that's why I ask y'all like, is there a diversity? Like, are y'all mostly minority? But I think that's cool because then you bring different groups of people from different walks of yeah. life, mm-hmm. you know, to enjoy music together. And so that's one of the reasons that I asked. And then the, another question that I had was like, do y'all incorporate any type of activism or anything into y'all's music? Like movement and stuff? Yeah. Uh, we need to. Uh, this kid can dance. He just choose not to. Well, uh, we like, I, I always brought it up. It was like, hey, we should do a dance. Like y'all should like go in there and do some um, Jackson Five type stuff, but you know, yeah, I, I can't say too much. I'm the drummer, so I, right. <laughs> I think she meant like, but that too, that kind of act, that 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 active, like because that can be activism too. That's why I ask because oh, there's okay. no like it's not one way street, and I ask that because like I said, everybody has a message, mm-hmm. and with y'all being minority, I didn't know if y'all had anything that y'all you know supported whether it be black lives matter or oh. um things like that like i don't i wanted to know i ask everybody who's an artist. <laughs> yeah. i literally ask everybody yeah. because it's like art art is a way to be an act to you know do activism as well and if there's a message that y'all can help get out um about equity equality like do y'all focus on those things or are y'all in a space where right now you're still building so it's more so entertainment I, you want you want to answer that I mean, we always, we, I feel like a, a lot of the messages in our songs, though, I mean, like, we're all, we're yeah. all about spreading love to everybody. Right. Like, you know, it's feel, like, feel good songs about, you know, feeling good, you yeah. know, even though crap is happening yeah. in your life. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, Sway Classic is like, you know, I'm, I'm here to steal it. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like not so matter. much. Yeah, like you know, not so much trying to get involved and just specifically say something, but just kind of be in that like yeah. safe space for people. Like, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. But like, it's just I don't. I think because like I said, our music is everywhere, and you know, like our it, it 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 we do it because it branches out towards everybody, not just one group mm-hmm. or just one one race. It it we can we can like I said we can go country real fast on yeah. you and play all those country songs <laughs> or play like all the rock songs and we can go R and B and you know put you in your feelings like we kind of just branch out and yeah. I think that's really cool like it kind of just grabs everybody not just like I said a specific right. yeah yeah no, I get it and I ask those things because I know being an artist mm. it's hard. Um, I feel like a lot of times people place responsibilities on artists. I asked Jordan when he came mm-hmm. on, like, how do you, you know, what's your activism in your artwork, mm-hmm. in your art, whatever you're doing? Um, because I know that, like, as artists, like, we all have a duty. As creators, we have a duty. Mm-hmm. And so I always ask people that because a lot of times we don't think about that because we do it for the love of what we're doing. But even, like, with myself, I had to realize, okay, like, well, Am I not doing my part? Like you start to think about those things yeah. and it it causes a journey of growth. That's why I ask those things so that now y'all will think about it. Like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you got me thinking right now. I'm like, oh my gosh. I like, because people that. always like it's always well, 
people will pay attention to your artwork. Like I taught myself how to paint. So I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with that avenue that I was taking. And I'm like, well, I don't see a lot of black women being painted. So like I just kind of fixated on painting black women. And it wasn't anything like really like fight the power or anything like that, but it was just the beauty of what a black woman is. Mm -hmm. And so just things like that, it doesn't have to be anything radical in Malcolm X, <laughs> none <Yeah>. of that. <laughs> but I always challenge every other creative to think deeper than just the the love of what you're doing because there's something missing that everybody has to offer. And I had to learn it for myself because I was like, what am I not seeing? You know, what am, what do I want to see represented? And that's really the biggest question is what do you guys want to see represented in art that's not there? So that's why I ask everybody, that everybody that's like, oh, I, I, I do videos or I, I'm in the band or I'll draw. Okay, well, dig deeper. Because yeah. I feel like it makes us better is creatives mm -hmm. and I, everybody's always like dang <laughs> you know, I don't have an answer for this question and I'm like I'm sorry but I had to, I asked myself those questions and I know it's always an opportunity for us to grow as artists and it makes us better so that's the only reason I ask it not to stump y'all I promise oh you're good <laughs> when you when you was talking about that I'm like ha, have you really seen a Mexican playing like gospel music like Johnny is like one of the greatest go go gospel people that's growing right now like Chill do out, you bro. see a lot of you know, my kind, black people playing, like, country music and, like... No, there's no representation. Exactly. And that's why, yeah, that's why and I ask so, those questions. Like, that's why I think that's, like, going back to, like, us playing everything kind of just makes us... Because we're a divide, mostly black and Mexican and, and white group. And, like, we branch out to everything. Like, But that's uh, important. How do y'all promote yourselves? That's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to do a better job promoting ourselves... Because y'all have a what well, I asked that because y'all have something that a lot of people don't have and that is diversity within your group. Mm -hmm. I think the only other group that we've ever seen that was diverse like that was the Black IPs. Yeah. So it's like mm. that's a that's something that y'all should capitalize on. And even though y'all are in a a smaller area, if y'all do it the right way, then y'all could potentially be you know where they were look not right. are, where they were <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because of that and also being able to be versatile with what music y'all do play like that's an opportunity that y'all should capitalize on and do any shows y'all can mm. oh yeah i always tell people i know it's crazy but i'm like go to new york and do like the street jam thing because people <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. but i feel like a lot of times that's how a lot of people get exposed yeah and it sounds crazy but i'm just like well my mind thinks crazy ideas so go do it i know it ain't affordable right now and y'all they're they're strict in new york but like places like that where you can just be free to be yourselves mm -hmm. i always think about those things because i i didn't even know who y'all were coming on so this is all like all of these questions are up top of my head right. i didn't plan any of this but it's just like y'all have a dynamic in y'all's group that a lot of people don't see yeah. a lot of people don't have and it's like that's what y'all that's y'all's advantage right yeah. now it's like like you said he plays gospel. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I've never, never, yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm 30, yeah, and I've yeah. never like seen, seen a Hispanic, Hispanic yeah. person, you know, play gospel music. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like the fact that y'all are able to jump into each other's worlds is very important. Yeah. So just you know, just saying, promote, promote, promote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's gonna be our biggest like push right now. Is I don't know, like, I, I feel like. The way y'all's vibe and energy is set up, I don't know if y'all could really just like outright, you know, say and do stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that might clash with the brand that y'all have like going. But at the same time, like, yeah, the the representation of like y'all's group and what y'all do is super big. Whether you know y'all realize it or not, like, you know, there's gonna be some yeah. kid one day at a show to see y'all and be like, dang, that's like, you know, a Mexican guitarist. I can go play guitar now. You know, no, you don't yeah. have to do whatever mom and dad wants me to do. I can mm -hmm. go play guitar or whatever. I was a black man playing metal music. Like, yeah, I, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> have to just listen to hip hop and rap. Yeah. Like, no, you can listen to whatever you want to. Um, I I feel like I can see y'all doing stuff um more visually. Like whenever y'all start doing like music videos and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I can see y'all throwing a lot of stuff in y'all's music videos. And then just like the style, like you know, just incorporating like some kind of message into like the you yeah. know the the fits and stuff like that. I can see that. Um. But yeah, no, yeah, y'all got a y'all got a real cool like chill vibe, and I I like the fact that you know y'all weren't so much like no, nah, we don't do no activism. We just kind of just want to just be the safe space right now because I feel like that's super important with everything that is going on. Is to kind of like I don't want to turn on the TV and get reminded of police brutality and like mm -hmm. you know 
the pandemic all the time. It'd be nice to just put on some cartoons or something like that, you know, just yes. to get an escape for a little bit. So yeah. y'all's music group being that, especially with the just the wide variety of genres, that's dope. Like that's, that's super great to see. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to, to make this some more shows and stuff oh, like that. You. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't have nothing else. Um, you have anything I'm else? not Julio. <laughs> <laughs> um, y'all should promote yourself. So, yeah, what are y'all's uh, handles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For social what's, media. What's our handles? Yeah. Y'all's and then you know shout out to you. And stuff and, like you know. Mine is if I can remember. That's how bad it is. <laughs> that's hilarious. I know. <laughs> No, the suede one is a uh, suede dot music. Yeah, uh, the band is suede dot music, and you'll find all the information on there, or uh, Spotify, all of that uh, booking. Yeah, we play it all: weddings, uh, bar mitzvahs, <laughs> uh, said uh, funerals, funerals. Yeah, you want to set up funerals? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the repast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, my handle is on my personal is Demetrius underscore Allen ninety nine. I just remembered it. <laughs> and I'm underscore J Sice underscore. What's your? How do you spell it? Um, S-A-I-S. Oh. See? Oh, Demetrius. Yeah. D-E-M-E-T-R-I-U-S. <laughs> yeah, they want to know. Yeah, yeah they're struggling. They, just go to Sway. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go to Sway. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all there. They're all there. We're they're all literally here. on the bio, yeah. Do y'all yeah. have any upcoming shows? Oh, uh, we'll yeah. We'll be playing Plug a em. birthday party on the 5th. We play a birthday party on the 5th. We have one on... At halftime, on either the twelfth or the nineteenth. Oh, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just look on our website. I promise yeah. it's on there. Uh, we're gonna be playing at Nexus on March fifth mm-hmm. with the Texas Music Cafe. Yeah, uh, that's it right now that I can think of mm-hmm. top of my head. Do y'all take donations? We got a cash up. Shout cash up. Sway dot music is cash up. Look on our money sign, money sign, yeah, yeah, money yeah, sign, yeah. suede dot music. music. I think <laughs> just look on our on our website. I promise everything. Suede dot music, S U E D E dot music. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. y'all heard it spelled S U E D E dot music. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. like the leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, shoes. Um, appreciate y'all coming on again. Yeah, I was uh, anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we would love to have everybody, but mm-hmm. you know. Maybe one day. Space yeah, 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 yeah. Space is a little limited. <laughs> I was like, I was like, let have y'all on. We can only do two yeah. <laughs> at a time. <laughs> Got a four, four, you know, session booth thing going on. But um, yeah, I'm Davy R. And I'm Jasmine. And thank y'all for listening to Stories of the Streets. Y'all can find us on Instagram and on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Stories of the Streets underscore. Um, if you need to email us, it's Stories of the Streets t h a at gmail dot com. And um, yeah, thank y'all. Thank yeah. y'all for coming. Definitely appreciate y'all having yeah, us. Thank you. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Mm-hmm.